Hey Facebook, what's going on? Uh, just finishing up today. And I just want to take a little time out because we had a good discussion yesterday um, about trust. And so today I want to get into um, motives. There was a, um, a comment, and I'm looking at off screen because I got my screen up right here, um, from someone. Let me see here. Let me review more right there. Comments. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, so there was a comment that she um, was hurt a lot, and she didn't want to get back into uh, dating anymore. And I and I it kind of touched me, and I just wanted to spend a little time today to talk about it. Yeah, it's um, trust is earned. I hate dating too, uh, right? And so it hurt so bad in my last relationship my ex cheated on me uh, told me he loved me and i won't even date now uh, so we want to talk about today motive um and being uh, being aware of what um what motive and the importance of understanding motive when it comes to a relationship so just to recap real fast, yesterday, if you go on my yesterday's post, or was that yesterday? Uh, yeah, yesterday. <laughs> uh, if you go on my yesterday's post, we talked about trust and other things. So today we're going to talk about motive. So go back and look at a trust in today's motive. All right, motive. What By definition, what is a motive? So just a simple search. It, it's a reason for doing something. All right, so when we talk about motive, what is my reason of doing something? All right, here's the thing when it comes to dating. You have someone who finds you attractive and they present themselves to you. Now, when they present themselves to you, you, you find them attractive and you, you talk about jobs, you talk about their future, you talk about their past, you, you talk about a lot of things to see if there's some compatibilities. Hey, let's go do this and let's go do that. And everything, all of that is perfectly fine. But at the end of the day, have you ever asked yourself, why are you here? See, even if I ask someone out and they accept my invitation uh, of a date, for example. I've never been in any situation, um, and, it, and it just mind boggles me how when people are introduced to someone, let it be their invitation or they uh, in, uh, invite themselves into your life, that you don't know why they are there. Um, what is their reason for being there? And, and it's almost as if people are scared to ask the question, why are, why are you here? What is your reason um, to be here? All right. Do I want to have kids or not? No. Do I or do I not want to have kids? Okay, that's a question. It's a valid question. But why am I there? Why did you invite them into your life? And if you don't understand why that you invite them into your life, for example, I like the way they look. I, I like this, I like the hair, I like the breasts, I like their, their, their figure, I like the fact that they have a job, I like the fact that they got their own um, house and car, I, I like the fact that they're independent, I like the fact that they're beautiful and independent and they speak their mind and I speak my mind and we can connect. I like that fact, but at the end of the day, why are we together? If you don't understand the why, meaning the motive, uh, and the motive by definition is the reason for doing something, why did you invite them to be in your life? See, you need to have a conversation with that in mind. Listen, on first date, literally, now, trusted video we talked about understanding did they learn the lesson right okay do they have a future okay fine then let's go to number three question the third question is why 
are you here? Why, why are we together? This is what I want. This is what I see you. This is the benefit of you being here. And strategically, I believe that if we can come together, the outcome could be this. Now, I know a lot of you think that that's kind of rough. But those who are Christians, I really want you to pay attention to the book of Ruth. When Naomi told uh, Ruth to go lay in the room of Boaz. I think it's a lost art of dating. Being strategic, when I say strategic, is having a reason why we are together. To, to be strategic is to understand this is the benefit of us being together. And if you don't understand the benefit of why they're there, like 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 this this lady here, uh, she's gotten burnt. Guy says, I love you. Okay, why do you love me? Okay, you love me. We have sex. We do our thing, and then all of a sudden you've got bored because you don't, you, you just, I don't complete you, right? Strategic, being strategic in your relationships, uh, single ladies, being strategic in your relationship is basically saying, I know why I want you. You have a job. Okay, that's fine. Everyone should have a job. That's a prerequisite, right? You, you you are good, you're a family man, you like to have fun. Okay, why? I like it, you like it, come together. What's the outcome? Strategic, being strategic understands the outcome of the relationship. And if you understand the outcome, then from point A to point B, it should already be assumed these are the steps. I want to be with you because I want to have kids and I want to raise kids or I want to be with you because I want to retire and your finance and my finance and what you want and what I want. The outcome is when we retire, right? Uh, the reason I want to be with you is because I'm a doctor, you're a nurse, and if we come together, right? What's the outcome of that? That's being strategic understanding the strategic part of it and ladies if you become strategic in your your searches and you bring that out and then the third question first question did you learn your past second question what do you have for your future and then from there why are you here what is the whole purpose of you being here why do you like me do you want to just have sex the outcome is sex is the outcome to date for marriage is the what's the outcome and you need to have those three questions in the first date ah right Lopez come on now uh, Renee yeah says right what's the motive exactly each one of you and me including each one of us have our own particular motive right don't give up the cookie. We'll talk about that in a second, <laughs> Angel. What I mean by that is this. Some of you want to start your own business. Why you? Why don't you like talk to someone and have a relationship with someone who's in business or who has a, a certain thing that can help you, the outcome, business. Some of you need to go to school and grow. What is the outcome, right? Okay. Can you be strategic on dating sites? Yes, you can be. So here, here is, here's, let's use Facebook for an, a good example. Facebook strategic. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm going to use you as, a, as an example, Renee. Hey, Renee, um, how are you doing? Fine. Um, I was wondering if you got some free time. Could we go on a dinner date next week? Yeah, sure. Okay. I got a whole week now. The next day, because I wait the next day, I may say, hey, Renee, how's your day doing? Good, 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 good. Then I might say, hey, tell me a little bit about a guy who hurt you. Or tell me a little bit about uh, what do you want to do in the next five years? Or tell me something about 
why are you even looking for a relationship? You're a good looking woman. You're attractive. You got a lot of things going for you. Why are you looking for a relationship? Is It's a question that brings a strategic question that brings a answer to a result. Why? If you understand that, then you can follow through all that simple fluff that is out there. Now, Again, I'm not saying that there are not those who, uh, in theory, that is correct. No one wants to enjoy their life uh, alone, Renee. That is correct. And this is why I'm, I'm saying, you ladies, you have to be strategic. Uh, I would rather enjoy my life with a partner. This is what I'm talking about. You, you have to be, you have to go out and get it. A good guy is not, he doesn't know he's a good guy. Oh, I wish I wish you ladies can understand that. A good guy is made to be a good guy. Don't confuse his profession and him being a good guy. Don't confuse his physical attributes of being, right, right? The physical, of being strong, in shape, like to be very active. Don't confuse that. When it comes to dating, when you look at a person, I'm looking at them, they're attractive. I know what they do for their profession. I, I can see their lifestyle, but I still don't understand why are you dating? And Renee's point of view is, well, look, I want to enjoy, I don't want to enjoy life alone. So she's looking for a partner. So her outcome is a partner to enjoy life. Okay, Renee, I'm just using you as an example. So then her search, her strategic search should be on what kind of profile of guys she should be looking for, right? Should she be dating a guy who has, who's divorced and has a family and he's only focused on is his career and his family, past family? Should he? No. Should she take a guy? No, no. Why? He's worried about work, he's worried about family, and he has no time to have fun. Ladies, let's be real. A guy gives you attention. You have to strip him down to that idea. What does he work? Check next. Does he have a family? Check next. Does he want another family? Check next. Okay, question. Good. What do I want? I want to travel the world. What do I want? I want to have a part. I, what do, I want to come home and say, hey, honey, I'm home. What is it that you want? You have to match that. That is strategic. You can start off in Facebook, messaging each other. Be direct. Let me tell you something, ladies. Lopez, if you're still watching, back me up, Doc. We want a woman who's direct, <laughs> right? Let me let me see if Lopez is there, right? So here here's the thing. Here's the thing, ladies. What do you want in life? What are you trying to achieve? Where what is your goal in life? Where where is that? What does that look like? What does that look like? Okay, if you say to me, I just want to raise my kids get them through high school, go through college. Okay, that's fine. That's that's where you're at. That's your goals. Okay, fine. Strategically, match a guy who has that same thought process. I want to be at home. I want to be have a mate. I don't mind kids. I love kids. Uh, hey, I got a job. I can support you and the kids and the idea that blah, 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 right? Come on, stop with this fairy tale thing with he looks good, he has a good job, he's supposed to, he's, just, look, no. Exactly, uh, Mrs. Lopez, exactly. What if you lack time? Sometimes after the job, I can barely make it up the state. But see, here's the thing. Understanding you, uh, Renee, understanding you, 
understanding your time, understanding your profession, understanding all of those details in your strategic search, they have to somewhat match. They have to match. Let me give it to you in a, in a different way, okay? Biblically, God made man, dust of the earth breathed into his nostrils, he became a living soul. Out of man came the rib, he was asleep. But God took something out of him, he was asleep, made her, presented her to him who was asleep. When he woke up, meaning when he saw this woman that God presented, how did she get there? She presented herself to him, right? When he woke up to you, he then can say, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, equalness, ladies and gentlemen. Equalness. You know what you want. You should know what you want. He's sleep. A guy's only focus in his mind is work. Where, where am I? Where am I? I'm at work. He sleep to you. When you present yourself, okay, we're going to get into another subject in a second. But when you present yourself, he then will wake up to you. And if you present yourself in a right way, God behind you, that's religion, ladies, okay, um, he will wake up to say, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, marriage. And this is something you ladies still don't understand. When a guy wakes up to his woman, he doesn't need time. All he's going to say is, I want you, let's get married. And that hasn't changed from the day number one Adam to me. My eyes open, I know what I want, she knows what she want, we're match, bone for my bone, flesh for my flesh thingy, okay, I woke up to her, boom, let's get married, done. What do you got to say? Let's do, let's just go. But that's just me. Okay, here's here's the issue then, ladies. Okay, if you're with me so far, if you're with me so far, let's take it to the next thing. When you present yourself, you're communicating without even moving your mouth. Right? Okay. If you understand the science of body language, it will teach you that physical body communication is what? Uh, 70, 80 percent and verbal is only 7 percent. What you say is only 7 percent of what you say. Okay, so let's go in real quick. Um, yes, Renee, guys always do want an independent uh, woman, but they also want the strategic woman, not a dominating woman. And I'll get let's let's review that in a second. Quality time, Renee makes uh, do have with him. Yes, absolutely, Elisa. Hey, Elisa, how you doing, Renee? I know you're there. How's everyone doing? Okay, listen. Presenting yourself. Okay. I know a lot of you ladies have kids, and I know a lot of you ladies uh, look in the mirror, and you're not a hundred percent. Uh, happy with yourself, right? And I'm telling you, as a man and as a psychiatrist for 19 years, let me tell you something about a guy. If he adores you, he doesn't care about you having a little weight, a little much around the, 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 the stomach because you had kids and you have a job and he doesn't care about that. I'm telling you, he doesn't. The only guys who do care about that are those guys who are looking for trophy. 
girls, ladies. If he tells you, I want you to lose weight. I think you look better in this. I think you should look like that. He, he's just using you. He's just using you. If he looks at you and he can strip you naked and you are very vulnerable and he just rubs his hand all over your body and without a flinch, that's your man. All right. So, ladies, be strategic. But to be strategic, you got to know what you want. In every case, God presented woman to man. Ruth went and did what Naomi said to present herself to Boaz. In every case, the woman is... It's, let me tell you how bad it is in the Bible. I'm, I'm really... I'm going to show you how bad strategic is in the Bible. Titus... I think it's Titus 3. Women, older women, teach the younger women how to love their husbands and children. It is a strategic woman who is so strategic in her search for a guy that she disregards the love aspect of her husband and even her kids. That is strategic. And that's what I'm saying, ladies. Why are you allowing those those trophy girls, those prostitutes, those concubines, those other women be strategic, go after what they want, and you just sit at home and wait for what? Scraps? There are good guys out there who is asleep. Present yourself. Wake his behind up. And if he's overweight, go work out. If he's underweight, Feed him. <laughs> but if you're, if you're, what you're trying to accomplish and what he's trying to accomplish, if that matches the, the, the result of what you're trying to accomplish, if you, that result is a match between man and women, you and him, then may I suggest go. Just go. It'll work itself out. But you got to trust it. Now, what do we say? Trust. It's a belief. And that belief and that hope is about what we're trying to accomplish and, re and bring to a, a resolve, a result. Right? All right. Yes, it is in Exodus. So it's Old Testament and New Testament. Right? All right, I see, okay, all right, all right, all right, good, 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 punch it, right, gotcha, it. okay, true, yes, awesome, awesome, cool, all right, so, may I suggest, ladies and guys, may I suggest, not you, Lopez and Mrs. Lopez, y'all married way too long, just go to bed, <laughs> to you single ladies, may I suggest this, Make a list of everything you want. And then from that want list, that list of wants, draw a line to what's my result? What am I trying to accomplish? Okay. That is the guy that you're trying to match to. Not this long list. He smokes, he don't smoke, he got to have the. Okay, fine. That's all good and dandy. That list of guys, fine. Bring that down to what's the result? What's your result? What do you want in that relationship? What's your purpose? Find the guy that meets that purpose. If he doesn't meet a couple of those notches, work with him. Build a relationship. Um, and then... In the starting process, right, ladies, we talked about it. Um, make sure he learned his mistakes. Two, make sure he has a future. What is his future? Should be right in line with yours as long as there's a result into it. And then 
why are you here i want i want to be with you i want to be with you i want to be with you but then watch him and pay attention to him because trust has to be earned and so i got you i got you trust needs to be earned so they can say seven percent what the hell ever they want to say i'm looking for the other 90 some percent watch them and just check now red flag red flag third red flag gotta go start all over don't 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 be discouraged i know it is hard it is hard and i know you're feeling anxious we all are but just take your time know what you want only accept those guys who meet your qualification of a result and then it's the, the the bullshit should actually shrink down a lot and then that way you can cipher through don't be afraid of the physical definitely if they mental have them call me <laughs> but not too crazy because uh, sometimes you can't handle them and then just keep going ladies keep going just keep going angel what you say uh you have to understand it's man's soul okay we can talk about that yes but i don't want the women in lopez i don't want the women to understand the man's soul or his i want him i want them to understand his motive for right now find out why he's wanting to date them and the why he's dating them you ladies the reason why should match up with the reason why you the result of what you're doing match up his result your i mean his motive your motive together push forward okay all right all right so just turn down a great prospect out of fear i never call anyone back renee you are not being strategic ladies listen i know i know i know you've been hurt since you were like young let me tell you something go after them question them watch them do not have sex with them right away do not give them money at all unless you know you feel sick don't no no money <laughs> watch them listen to them but don't don't have fear stop you right don't don't have fear stop you lane joe i know right protect the cookie because okay let's talk about sex for a second ladies being alone would get horny for some of you porno porno can only meet a certain scratch that you know that just just things we can't handle that over a period a long period of time now when you meet someone that's semi attractive and beyond i know you want to get physical and want to just like get strip it down and just get butt wild and have do your thing right don't <laughs> please don't if you bring them to a private place let's say hmm the hotel or hmm your house with no kids there or hmm in the in the office don't do it please don't do it only have sex with them in your comfortable stage which should be I know his motive I know my motive our motives match right okay first yes how motives then watch them for at least a week or two listen to them and watch them okay so for an example I'm gonna, I'm gonna say an example I got kids I got a job I'm tired I got kids, I got an ex, okay? 
here here it is. A guy calls me, or a girl calls me, in my case, a girl calls me, hey, how you doing? How's your day? You need anything? No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Next day, calls you again. Hey, how you doing? Anything? Right? They're, they're more concerned about you. Okay. A guy who's not concerned about you will call you up and say, hey, how's your day? Um, are you free this weekend? You got kids and they don't ask about your kids? Right, right, okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so that's a good start then, Renee. Uh, don't look, bring them to your house, right. So so the idea is you, you cannot substitute the wholeness of who you are and what you represent for lonely to replace loneliness right you cannot do that ladies and guys you can't do that if a guy calls you up and says hey honey how you doing and he doesn't ask about your kids red flag nope gotta go if he calls you and say hey how are you and how are the kids right so when you get past that and you feel comfortable, is it are you out of the are you out of the box? Probably not. But here's here's what I want you to realize, ladies. If a guy knows he wants to be with who he wants to be with, it doesn't take more than a week. Just know that. And if it doesn't take more than a week for him to wake up, biblical term, wake up, it doesn't take him, if it, does, if it takes him longer than a week to ask for you and your kids, you don't need him. Be mindful. Do not look for a guy if you have a wholeness of you. Please. If a guy calls you one time and you have kids and he doesn't ask about your kids, get rid of him. Wolves in sheep clothing. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. But if you got a guy who's who's nagging the shit out of you because he's calling you and say, hey, how's the kids? But, you know, you got to have that warm, fuzzy feel. You, you just got to have that warm, fuzzy feel. So anyway, we talked a lot. That's good. Um, it's getting late. I know some of you got to work. That's okay. Um, that's right, Mrs. Lopez. Parents first, then woman or man themselves after regardless. So, right. So contrary to belief, ladies... If you and I talk and you you say, "Hey, how's you? How are you and the care and the kids?" Just that question tells me something. You're concerned about me and the kids. That gives that gives me a warm fuzzy feel, right? Unlike my hair is like warm fuzzy right now. All right, so let me see. I think that's all I can give you for tonight. Motive, strategic. Be strategic. Go after what you want, but make sure you know what you want. It's not the list, it's the result. Strategic is going after the result. Prime example, a trophy girl is going after a rich guy and she doesn't care if he's 50, 60, 70, or 80. As long as he does what he says he's going to do to her, she's going to do whatever, right? Okay, so motive. Ladies, if a trophy girl can do that, a woman, right? Uh, get yours too, please. But let's do it safely. All right, guys. Have a good night. I appreciate your time again. If there's any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate. Let me know. And uh, we'll get together soon. All right. Bye-bye.